Hello, rum lovers. My name is Cristobal Serokovsky. I'm the global brand ambassador for Abuelo Rum Panama. So uh, the Varela family, my company, was making rum since 1908. Uh, the company started with a Spanish immigrant who started with the first sugarcane mill in Panama. And after 107 years of history, here we are. The owners of the company are the grandsons of the third generation of Varela hermanos. And to celebrate the 100 years of family and company history, we create in 2008 this Abuelo Centuria, which is, means a century, which is a blend, uh, blend uh, of rums between seven and more than 38 years. Right now, thanks God, uh, this product is considered one of the best rums in the world. Actually, here in Rumfest yesterday, we sold all the bottles that we brought with us. That's the last one ever, is it? No, no it, we, are, we, we, are, we are making 3,000 bottles every year, uh, which is really special. We want to sell for a you know very honest price, even that is quite expensive to, to, to get it. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, here in England, Retail, we are not selling more than 130 pounds, uh, which is really good price for a product as this one. What's the difference between something that's aged for a long time and then something that's maybe a premium? Like, what would be the difference between that? Yeah, being completely transparent and honest, uh, the premium world became this last three years in a uh, rum. Uh, companies uh, like, like mine, we've been making aged rum and really extra old rums during many years. Uh, Abuelo uh, changed his name, so uh, from 1908 uh, this rum was uh, called Varela rum as the family surname and in the, in the end of 60s, um, the start of 70s, we changed for Abuelo rum. I, I don't know uh, what's the difference actually, we've been, we've been making old rum during all these years, right now the premium word is really known because it became quite fancy. So a lot of rums uh, took, this, took this name without being really premium. So I'm just really uh, defending you know, the craftsmanship and the family businesses and the distilleries and the brands that really are investing money to just sell good product, good liquid and being honest. Can you sum up how the Rum Fest has been for you for the past two days? And how do you welcome the new, um, the new rum week? Um, I spent the, the last month traveling around the rum fests uh, of people like Leonardo Pinto of Italy. Um, of course, uh, we we we've been in Berlin uh, with Dirk and uh, then the bar convent. And finally, actually, this is my first time in rum fest in London. Uh, before me was my area manager coming here, but. As my first experience with Ian, uh, I, have, I have to say thank you very much because this is a, a real good experience and we, you are able here to connect very well with the people. Uh, there's a big community of consumers growing, asking for like really premium products. Yeah, you told me about premium, high quality. Premium, it means high quality products. Uh, not all of them, they are high quality, but I'm really happy that the people start to understand the differences if someone is telling, you know, an honest story of someone who not. And uh, this festival is really nice. Uh, I'm discovering new brands I never, uh, I never seen before. Uh, we have a Japanese rums who are amazing. Uh, you know, the atmosphere is really positive, and yet, you know, our. Uh, rum community sharing our our experience and our love with everyone, which is really good. Maestro, come on.